Sports Live to Dave. Hey, Dave, what are you doing? Let's do that. I'm pairing this morning, so get out here. We're going to class up your 4th of July barbecue quite a bit. We're going to pair some very good wines with the particular food you're serving. Dominic Orsini is the winery chef from Silver Oak Winery in Napa, one of my favorites. He's going to tell you what to pair with some nice dishes for your 4th of July barbecue. Sure. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, pleasure to be All here. All right, the first one is garlicky shrimp skewers. What type of wine are we going to go with and why? We're going to do a Sauvignon Blanc. The first thing you want to consider is your protein. How heavy is your protein? Shrimp, really light. So we want to go with a light wine like Sauvignon Blanc. And we have a simple uh, garlicky shrimp here. They've been seared with a little bit of lemon, okay? And then we put it on a rosemary skewer for you to enjoy if you like. Now, one Ali's going to love all the garlic oh, in this. Oh, nice and garlicky, a little paprika. Garlic breath is great. Oh, yeah, it is. And so it's now. Really good. Once you've decided on your proteins and you're, you're preparing your food, the key to food and wine is balancing the salt and the acidity. In this corn pasta dish, I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil here. We have rigatoni, a little bit of fresh corn, some black beans, fava beans. Now the most important step for food and wine pairing, I have a simple little citrus-based vinegar here. We're going to drizzle that in like so, and what that does is that brings up some of the acidity and balances the flavors on your palate. Now, okay. in this pasta dish, we've included a little bit of smoky bacon. Now, we're pairing this dish with a Pinot Noir, and the smokiness of the bacon kind of balances with the oak characters in the wine. And then in addition, the, uh, you know, the, the bacon itself provides umami to go with the fruit of that Pinot Noir as well. So the whole idea is that the right wine improves the flavor of the food. It, well, yes, exactly. They're, they're going to go hand in hand. The uh, wine's going to enhance the food. The food's going to enhance the wine. You know, the total oh, is much is more than the sum of the two parts. I'll drink the wine at the commercial right? break. <laughs> um, now you can show these two Our wines. two wines, beautiful. As we come on over to the fried chicken now, you, you're telling me fried chicken, and we're going to do that last. We're going to do these uh, We're going to do the sliders, fried chicken though. first, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gigi's, but serving a cold. Gigi's cold fried chicken. There's nothing like when I was younger. You know, we had fried chicken the day before, and always some leftovers. Pulled it right out of the fridge, ate it just like that. Loved it. And Still so that's works, what we've huh? done here. It doesn't oh, have to be hot. It's, well, it's great for a picnic, too, because you can make it the day before, and you just pull it out when your guests arrive and enjoy it. And you just throw a little garnish in the case on there. of here, we're doing it. We're topping it with what I call Gigi's gravy. It's a white gravy that we finish it up. We just put a little bit of that right on top. It's got this smoky characteristic as well. Uh, the creaminess of that gravy helps balance uh, the, the tannins and soften the tannins, if you will, for the wine. Now, and fattening me up. And what are we going to pair that with? We're going to pair this with a, a Cabernet. It's an Alexander Valley Silver Oak Cabernet. Uh, the Alexander Valley has a little bit softer tannins, I find, and works really well. And, you know, the wine, the wines from uh, the Cabernets from uh, Alexander Valley are rich enough to stand up to the fried character on the outside of the sure. chicken, yet not so much that's going to overwhelm that light chicken flavors that you get. Perfect. All right, next is the uh, Black next. Angus sliders. Tell well, us we're doing like a, try a bite. Yeah, you try a bite. We're doing a Black Angus slider on a pretzel roll. Uh, you know, yeah. ode to where I'm from. I'm a Philadelphia boy originally, so I love pretzel rolls. And <laughs> we've done a sip <laughs> this guy. We have a Philly guy on the couch. So oh, that's why. man. So we have a little bit of white cheddar on here. We've just simply grilled them. We're going on top of the pretzel roll like so. And as you can see, we got the beautiful sea salt on the top, just like that. We like to finish with a nice simple skewer. Okay? Now, that's a slider for Champions Day right there. Now, Man, I'm we're stuffed. You're okay. already, right? But I'll try that. And we're going to pair that up. with. This is our two, this is a two Merlot. We're pairing it with a Merlot because a Merlot is a little bit bigger of a wine. Um, you, I find the beef characteristics bounce so well with uh, the fruit character, and then the pretzel provides this kind of caramelization on the outside of the roll, oh, which yeah. is just this great, great touch uh, for for the oak characters in the wine. And if you have more questions, folks, for your Fourth of July barbecue, go to SilverOak.com and click on. Ask Dominic, and I'll tell you anything you need to know, folks. The perfect pairing for your barbecue coming up next week. All right, guys, back inside of you. I'm going to hang with the wine. And that looks good. Wow. Stuff, huh? going to explode. Do it. Right. Bring us in some if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, after the break here, we're going to talk about this.